Hey, welcome back everybody to another episode of Back to Basics, the vanilla Minecraft server we're playing on. And last episode we built this awesome slime farm here, and it's been producing a lot of slime balls. But now it is time that we'll send all this up to the surface and build our storage for all these slime balls. And that's what I want to get started with today, so we can finish this project and then move on to the next one and i think it's going to be a fun little project building this item elevator i did prepare the shaft here um i went with cobble all the way up and only left one hole in the middle i don't know why i excavated a three by three uh, initially but well that was not the right thing to do and yeah i brought a bunch of stuff there's more up on the surface i moved these slime chests out away from here and well slime balls are backing up already um quite quickly so well let's get started with this now this item elevator i selected to do is the least expensive one that's the reason why i took it because this is a long way up to the surface and if we would use a dropper or dispenser item elevator or something like that that would cost a lot of mats not too expensive but also need to run all the redstone all the way up top so we'll just go with a um, regular i'm gonna call it a glass elevator i don't know what the proper name is for it and to explain to you guys uh what the principle is this works on is i don't know how many versions ago minecraft but it was added that i think they're called opaque blocks or something like 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 glass glowstone redstone blocks leaf blocks and so on they can transport items okay and to, to show you guys this you put a stone in here for example and then when you put a when i put a glass in this hole you guys are gonna see in a in a slower animation how this cobble travels up through the stone and then pops out on the top you guys saw that and that's the principle that we're using um when you use a solid block in a hole like this um it also looks like it's coming up but it pops up just because that's how minecraft is made um, otherwise you would lose this block so bip it comes up but this does not work automatically because this is a solid block not an opaque block all right so um there's some stone let's close this hole and we're coming in on this level right here but we need to bring the items up one higher and i have an idea for that how i believe it could work um with a dispenser but we'll test this out in a second let's first figure out where we need to go so we need to go and i'm gonna use cobble for that because i'm gonna close this wall later on right here so you won't be able to see anything so this is the actual floor um we need a solid block there everywhere we this whole thing needs to be solid no not this one okay from here on out we're gonna use ice for the actual water channel and that's the reason why i put these torches up high so i cannot have any of this ice melt just by uh accident and we're gonna come to let me see here real quick. I need these nine right here for the redstone. Here is gonna be a solid block. Uh, yeah, let's do it like this. The dispenser is gonna go right there. Perfect. So we're gonna come, bring the items over to the dispenser, and then they're gonna go around this L shape. And I explain why I didn't just go in a straight line from over there here in a second. Um, we're running out of room down here, back behind this wall. Like if I break this one right there, there's the cactus already. And I don't want to, you know, leave that exposed. I I don't know. It just, we still have enough room, I think. to. Do. So let's finish this channel here real quick. Like that. This. And let's bring the hoppers over next. So we're gonna go into the dispenser. And I'm not gonna connect it just yet to this. 
so we don't have any items flowing yet. So I'm going to leave this one out until the end. And then when I hook this up, then the whole system is going to be turned on pretty much. Cool. So now I'm going to put... Um, we need glass here. Let's build the redstone real quick so we don't need to go in this corner anymore. So um, you're going to put a comparator right here next to the dispenser that reads, hey, I got an item. And I always set mine to subtract. And a repeater. And then we need a repeater going into this block. And now we connect it all with redstone. Bada bing, bada bang. Now how this works is, if I put an item in here, the comparator says, hey, this guy has something now. It, the signal gets repeated um, all the way over to this repeater, which powers this block, which then triggers this piston, uh, piston, dispenser, and it pops out the item. And this one over here resets the comparator. So, show you guys, let's put, well, let's just put these two fence posts in here. One, two, they pop out. And this way, I'm hoping that when we put this up into the water stream here, it will then, you know, bring it over there, and that way we brought the items up one higher. So now we can close this off, and we should not need to go into this corner anymore. And I'm going to need glass right there. Bring it to here, and now figure out how we're going to go here. Now, the trick with these is um, these fence posts. Um, this is what we need the L shape for, okay? I'm going to explain to you real quick. Next to this first fence post, by the way, you need to have glass, not a solid block. And the reason for that is when you look at this, when I put a solid block, the fence post connects. And now if an item comes down this, this um, channel here, it cannot go past this. You know, you, you see it gets stopped. But over here, if I throw it, it goes through. So that's why... You need to have at that spot right there a glass. The other ones here, they could be solid, no problem. But, well, I figured this way we can see if it works. And I get popped out because it fell in the hopper. All right, cool. So here, and then above this here is where the actual elevator starts. So behind this entire thing here, I... I'm going to start using solid blocks and also in here let's just finish this wall over there I need more cobble lucky will you have a few down here <laughs> uh, and we can also finish this and that and why I chose cobble instead of something else, so if I start digging up top, I can notice that, hey, oh, there's cobble. I think I built something here instead of using smooth stone. Because while this goes all the way up and there's nothing else in this area, everything is over in these two chunks. So now I'm going to need to leave myself a gap. But let me show you guys how it works first in case you haven't seen one of them. And I'm going to put a solid block here. Yeah, like that. So now if an item comes down here, you see how it, it, it goes back there to the fence post. It cannot go anywhere else. So it chooses the opaque block and it automatically pushes it up. And you can pretty much go endless with this principle. At least I haven't found an end yet. So this should work. Okay, um, we got everything down here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to finish building this glass all the way up. It's going to be dark here. And then when I'm on top, we go back down and put in a few items and see if they come up all the way. All right, so, well, I think I have a stack of slime balls on. Yes. So, well, we got to do one more thing, of course. I totally forgot about that. We got to put the water. So that pushes it all the way over here. And then we have to close this off. I am... You don't really need to close it off. But I just want to make sure that no items from this dispenser can... Do weird things. Let's just say it like that, you know. Pop out somewhere where they're not supposed to. 
So now this should be all contained. Okay, let's put in the stack of slime balls. All right, so they all get spit out. And come here, and you see them going up. So let me go up top, and if we see 64 slime balls, then we know everything works. So let's give this a second. They're still coming. All right, let's see. 64 slime balls. Works like a charm. Looks pretty cool too. All right. Um, up here, by the way, I chose um, lime stained clay because of how I th think I want this design to be up here for the rest of this item elevator. And of course, I don't want this to be cobble or anything. So I figured what we can do is something like this and see if that looks good. And just alternate like in this. Uh, checkered pattern and of course in the middle I still need glass I could probably use uh, lime stained glass but we'll just keep going so that's three four come on the sound is funny when you place these you think that there's slimes around but there's none you guys see I had to put cobblestone in front of this door because when I was over here at night and I couldn't sleep because monsters nearby, yada yada. And the zombies, of course, broke down those spruce doors. <laughs> okay, and we want to go up six. At least I'm hoping this is going to work out. And then up here, we are, well, we can continue with the seventh one like that. All right, cool. So that's now the one where I want. Just do that. Bing. Bang. Let's get rid of this block. And right there, oh, we're going to have a hopper pointing this way. And now, well, let's just close this off. So we go with the whole. Yeah, why not? Bing. Don't want to put a slime. Well, let's just see if it works. I'm not sure if these slime blocks are going to do some funny things. And over here, I think we're just going to continue with only lime stained glass. And now I'm going to need to pillar up here. Okay, and let's actually get rid of this. Please fall down. Arr. Give me my glass. All right, and we need one more in front here so it stops the water from flowing out. And now, of course, I need to have water in here. And that pushes the items over into this hopper. Cool. All right, before we continue, I am going to go back down and throw the stack in again and see if they all end up in this hopper because I'm not sure how these slime blocks up there, you know, I don't want them to be bouncing the items around needlessly or something. So I'll meet you guys back up here. Whoa. All right. All 64 slime balls made it up here. It actually looked pretty cool. You saw them coming through here. And once it's done, I'll show you guys. You just see them flashing through here for a second. So now how I want to continue here is I want to have uh, rows of chests right here. And the sorting system here, I have never done it that way. That's why I brought this up higher than usually. You only You usually only need to go up to here and then you have the sorter there uh, the transport going this way the sorting here and then you know the hoppers down for your chests but i brought it up a little higher because i want to sort them first and then distribute them 
to all the chests. So we only have one sorter checking for slime balls. And if it's not a slime ball or the sorter is full, it will go to a disposal unit that we're gonna build. So there can never be any items floating around here. So now I'm gonna go one, another hopper, um, then one going this way and here okay right here this this is going to be a hopper going down to the disposal system and i just made it this way so i can point the hopper into this block and point this one in there and point this one in there okay cool i'm gonna leave this here for a second and is it almost night i have a bed over there so i can sleep if it gets too dark now from here is where we actually gonna have now the sorting system on the second one here and that's gonna be a hopper pointing into this block and then underneath this here i decided to go with the limestone clay as my redstone block is it not sleep you see guys how this doesn't load because we haven't looked in that direction it's kind of weird now when you lay in bed those are 1.8 changes apparently okay again so with the limestone clay this is just where i'm gonna um, have my uh redstone run on and we're gonna build something like this over here break this block out you guys probably seen the shape many times and let me pull it up right there but this this and now we need a comparator that is reading this hopper here pointing that way then we need some redstone do right there i need to come up here again for a little bit and then we're gonna have one repeater in this hole right there and yes and a redstone torch on this block and well i guess now i need to explain this better this hopper right here is gonna be the the hopper that starts for the storage system okay so how does this gonna work is um i guess we can set this up um let me just put in 32 slime balls right here now this is sending a can we still see it i gotta do it again see how it went down to 22 when you put in more than 22 now this the trail goes to the second redstone over here you guys just saw it turned it off but if there's more than 22 items in this hopper the trail unlocks this hopper so now this hopper accepts items okay um and you can do it in multiple different ways um, you know, making sure that you only have do it like this. So we put one in each one of them. So only slime balls can go in this hopper and nothing else. And once this gets down to 18 now, it's gonna lock this hopper down here again. And it stopped. So whenever an item comes in here, um, the hoppers always go down first before they move on so it comes to this hopper goes to this it checks down first there's room in here it's going to put the slime balls in here if a bone comes a rotten flesh or whatever else it will not put it in here because well we only have slime balls and then this one goes down to that one which then now starts our actual storage system let's put this up now and so i need to run away right there this Yes, okay. So I figured we're just gonna do a few rows of these right now, alternating with um, regular chests and trap chests. Ah. Cool, got it. And then one more like this, and that should be plenty. If we have six double chests full of slime balls, well, then we don't need any more. And the rest can get uh, voided. So now we hook all these up like that. Start in the bottom rows. 
Yep, don't throw the hopper away. And like this, so all these point into this chest. And this one is going to point in this chest. And yeah, and the hopper here is going to point into that one and this one into this one. And now we need one more up here to connect everything together to here. So now we should have instantly slime balls in this this chest. Where'd you go? Did I take them? No, I didn't take them out. Oh, because this hopper is locked now. Um, they're sitting in here. Yeah, that's that's one thing. You're always going to have one sitting in there. So let's just put 42 slime balls up in here. And you guys are going to see they're going to... Now it's unlocked because this redstone torch is open. It comes down here and the first one should go down here. So once this chest is full, this hopper fills up. Then this chest, then this hopper, then this chest, this hopper. Rinse and repeat in this row. So when this chest is all the way full, then our entire storage... Or I should say this hopper is full... Then all nine chests it can't take anymore, and then the rest should all come over here and automatically get voided. Our trash can. So let's go ahead and make that. Um, how high do I want this? Let's first off, this is right underneath. Um, yeah, let's just dig out this one right there. And we're gonna use limestone class. Why not? Now let me think here for a second. I'm gonna need to trigger. So we go like this. That should work. Yes. And then over here we need solid blocks. For the redstone. Okay, now I just gotta place the dispenser actually. And I want this to be, let's say, one off the ground so you can actually see it. Where's my dispenser? Place that pointing down. Now I can get out. There go. I'm gonna wait for the grass to spread. Actually, you know what, we need to have the, because I don't know if glass, well, let's just change it with the headed on the other ones. Let's put that, 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 and now I can put the dirt back over here because that grass is going to spread and close it off. And I'm a knucklehead. Because now we need our actual dispenser down here, or the lava block. Now we can get rid of this. Nothing fell into a hopper, that's good. And... Okay, let's again make the redstone for this. Again, a comparator. Set the subtract. Repeater. And over here, I want this to be close to the other redstone stuff. Right there, the repeater is pointing into this block, which powers this. And there we go. So now if we put any item in here. It gets triggered and shot into the lava. See ya later. Okay. And now all we got to do is put the rest of the hoppers here. And that is it. Yep. We are done with the system. So now what we can do is we can go down and let me empty my inventory. I shouldn't need anything anymore right now. Just so I have room to pick up slime balls out of the other chests. I keep the cobble on here. And first, well, oh, almost forgot. We need one hopper for the bottom to connect the actual stream. And well, let's do that right now. So it's connected. Cool, so now everything is a go. You guys are going to see the slime balls popping out here any second. So right now we're getting rid of all our backup. 
Head up real fast. God, I wish this was faster. Come on. Well, we have lots of items, so we should see slime balls for a few minutes coming up there. Doo -doo -doo. You guys see the slime balls traveling up there? I think it's so cool. Alright, and down here you're gonna see this chest slowly filling. And like I said, if anything else that doesn't go through this sorter right there, or this sorter, because they're all slime balls, then it will keep on going, come down into the dispenser here and get shot into the lava. Cool. I like it. Very simple. Um, and we only have one sorter, which means that, you know, if these chests are full and I'm like, right, you know what, I want to have more rows. All I got to do is add more rows of chests here with the hoppers over there. There's no need to change anything up there with the redstone. You can just keep going as far as you want or, you know, go around the corner and so on. And now, of course, we need to make this look pretty. But before I want to get started with that is I'm going to tear down everything over here. I'm going to get rid of all these pumpkins, the cactus, and I'm going to leave the wall for now because that way I'm safe. I can't have any surprises. And I'm going to excavate these two chunks all the way down to the slime farm and fix the walls because I want to uh, completely cover this up here in glass. I want to be able for anybody to come over here and look down and see the whole slime farm underneath here. I think that's going to be cool. I know it's a lot of work, but I want to do this um, and I'm going to have a lot of fun. Okay, I just put this double chest on the hoppers with a bunch of these slime balls to start getting sent up. And I notice here there's always a couple of bunched up right there. It's actually more than a couple when I break this glass here and go down. You see that? That's a stack. Now, I have seen other people before. And let me stop this here real quick so we don't get any more. Um, that after this bend here, they replace one of the ice blocks with a regular block, like a cobblestone or something. And apparently that is to group them together. And I never understood what that is for. But let's see if that will help it. Maybe that's the reason they are putting that in. So let's connect this hopper again. I think that is exactly what it does. You guys see it slows down and a few of them connect together. And then the bunch goes over there and goes up. So I'm going to stand here for a while and see if this happens again.
I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse. I had a lot of fun digging this out. It was a lot of work. I, if you look at it like this, it's like, eh, it's just a little excavating, but man, it is a lot of digging, especially then when you also forget to do these extra four over here, three here, and then the wall, like I did. So I had to do this again. Yes, go to your death. Give me your slime balls. Ooh, splash. I love it. I'm I'm really happy how this turned out. Um, I know it wasn't necessary, but I think this is nice here at spawn. You know, come over and it's nicely fixed up, all clean. Um, but I think that all these pumpkins here, I'm gonna change them out eventually, or when we have access to those green lights from the Guardian Temple. I think that's gonna look better. But until then, I'm gonna leave the jack-o-lanterns because that's a lot cheaper than glowstone i don't have that much glowstone and yeah here i did not want to have a you know typical slime cube i still turned out with a cube somewhat but i like this i i think this this crazy array this crazy texture it's awesome i love it but there is one flaw in our sorting system and I wanted to show you guys this. And that is, oh, let me show you from the front. And I'm sure some of you noticed that when I set it up, this is full, this is full, but there's none in this chest. But then this one down here starts filling. And that is a problem with the hoppers. I That was a knucklehead move on my part. You know, the sorter goes down to here, and then it just goes down to this hopper. And when you see these two are pointing that way, so they're always going to check down first. That's why these two chests down here filled. But then it will never go into the chest because, well, a hopper checks down first. But then, of course, into the direction it's actually pointing. So these two need to face into the chests. And this one here need to actually... Did I get them all? I hope so. And these two need to actually be pointing into the chests. So now the way we're going to go across here is, no, I'm missing one hopper. Let me see where it went. There it is. And let's go back up. So these two hoppers are pointing into the chest. So all these nine hoppers down here are pointing into the chests. Now this one is going to point down. This one is going to point into that one. And this one is going to point into that one. So now these two are going to check down first and then put it over. And then when it comes to here, it goes down. So now the next slime ball should all go in here. Let me just check that I didn't mess up my item sorter. We still got 22 in here. Take these out and put them up. No. Oh, ah, well, we just wasted them. Put them in the wrong hopper. <laughs> uh, we getting any here? get this hopper back there I can't click on it from here all right uh, here's my... okay let's see if they're going in the right chest now should be going up yes so now once this one is full it's gonna continue down on this one and up and up and up so cool so now this is all fixed and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this project I had a lot of fun um, I know it was just a lot of time lapse today and setting up this the sorting system. Um, well, sorting system is nothing new, but I hope you guys liked how I set it up. If you guys have any recommendations or easier ways of doing the sorter, let me know. But I think it's the least amount of redstone for what I'm trying to achieve, you know, sorting out the gobbledygook, but keeping the slime balls. 
and of course now after the episode i'm gonna go ahead and close all this up the way it's supposed to be that get this out of here and pull up this wall and you know put the the slime blocks and glass in front of these hoppers so you don't see you still see them but not as much and then this is complete and i totally did not put a button in here uh have any stone on me nothing oh well I'll, I'll break it down and go ahead head over and get me some stone or maybe put a pressure plate there outside is a button but not on the inside <laughs> anyways um well if you guys enjoyed the episode i appreciate a thumbs up like always and next episode we are i'm going to show you guys where i got the beacons from you guys probably seen them a few times now in my base and what i'm using them for and then we are going to set up another mob farm and it's going to be pretty cool i think i found a skeleton spawner really close underneath my base we already had the zombie spawner i showed you guys what i did with that but next episode we're going to set up that skeleton spawner and we're going to make it a double purpose one an afk farm just you know for bones and arrows and whatever and the other one an xp farm it's going to be pretty cool i have a few ideas for that and yeah Hope to see you guys in the next episode. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.